I have had these since I was little. Mm -hmm. These are my actual children's books. And little, what was her name? Oh, yeah. what was her name? I read it while we were watching it. Hunka Munka. Hunka Munka. Yeah, hunk she was a, she was one of not one but two two bad, bad mice. mice. So I don't actually have my Peter Rabbit. I like I said, these are from my actual childhood. And these are <laughs> the only three that have survived. And Jemima Puddle Duck was always my favorite. Why? I just think she's silly. She's so silly. Well, I also I love the illustrations. That like look how saucy the fox is. I love the Beatrix Potter illustration. Okay. I love Beatrix <laughs> Potter. I think she's great. And little Tom Kitten, look at his stupid little. Look at his little outfit. His stupid little outfit. Look it. <laughs> so dumb. Hello, everybody. I am Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching This Show, your twice weekly pop culture podcast where we talk about movies, TV, music, and more. And as always, this is a spoiler show, so you have been warned. On today's Easter Sunday, Easter Friday, Friday. Good Friday, Good Friday, yeah. the best Friday. <laughs> it's not that great. <laughs> uh, I am a little bit drunk because I kind of gave up drinking for for Lent. For me, I gave up drinking. That's for true. Lent. That is true. Uh, and I made it the whole the whole way. Well, I'm cheating. I'm two days early. But yeah, Beep. <laughs> we're recording a full week early. <laughs> Uh, but on today's episode, we decided to have a little bit of fun mm -hmm. and visit, for me, yeah. uh, the 2018 uh, live never action. Seen it. Yeah. yeah. That's what I said visit, not revisit. Okay. But you you are aware of. I'm aware the of Peter property. Rabbit. Yes. We watched Peter Rabbit 2018. Play the trailer. <laughs> Only the beginning. <laughs> so you said you did grow up with these yeah. books. Oh yeah. I had they were I, I don't think they were snazzy enough for me. Oh. I think it was very um I mean I think it's adorable now. Yeah. Uh spoiler, I fucking loved this movie. <laughs> okay. It was the a riot. The books are obviously not. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Obviously, I liked a lot of books as a child, and I liked children's books, but I, I think um, the woodland critters were never really my thing. I was more of a fairy tale, more of a, you know, dresses, and sure. we had one minute, one minute Greek myths, and... I mean, I had all that um, stuff, too, but I also had this. So, but yeah, no, I never really... There, there was a quaintness to it that I haven't grown an appreciation for mm. until much, much more recently. Sure. Okay. Um, but, and also, as you already mentioned, this movie uh, was a little bit of a di diver diversion. Yeah. Is that what you would call that? Sure. From the source material? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Because uh, actually that was the consensus it, i i like intentionally i remembered wanting to see this so basically the only thing i remembered was the hedgehog getting electrocuted and all of her quills shooting out and her going look away and i thought that was very funny <laughs> and so when we were talking about things to do for easter i was like happy easter christ has risen but no previous episodes we did well we did that we yeah, did, we did well that. we did jesus christ superstar and that was great we did um Easter from American Gods, and we did Passover and Saved and all that. And so we're going a little bit more secular this year. Yeah, the Prince of Egypt. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. That's what we did last year. So yeah, so we decided on rabbits. And like I said, uh, I, re I remembered kind of insisting we do this, because I think this is like the third year in a row that we've entertained it. But I kind of didn't remember what exactly it was all about when oh, okay. we started it. And so I didn't look up the score. I, I kind of was like, I just want to watch this and see what it's like. And I knew, like, within seconds that I loved this. <laughs> <laughs> well, Peter is, like, flying through the air. And they're, like, parkouring all over McGregor's garden. Well, it, it opened with the birds. You may be small, not big and tall, but a giant's what you twin be called. For you're only as small as your dream. 
I know that I oh, sorry. And oh, I thought yeah. the birds were fun and it was very colorful. Yeah. And I love Rose Byrne yeah. and Donald Gleason. Same. And And Sam Neill. He's yeah. only he's only in this for like a minute, but <laughs> I mean, okay, so I was aware of like th- the concept. I knew that Peter Rabbit would be wise to stay out of Mr. McGregor's garden. Um, I didn't know how cutthroat it was. Yeah. I didn't know how ruthless. This is borderline a Final Destination movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> not no. <laughs> there's a handful of times, <laughs> like the 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 Benjamin <laughs> Bunny. Yeah. I mean, he gets. Uh, 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 it's like a trident, tri forked. Oh, um, not a trowel. Like a little rake, like a hand rake. He gets yeah. two rakes. Yeah. yeah. Like thrust at him and it pins him to the thing. And yeah. I was like, Eek! I thought it was hilarious and I thought it was adorable. Yeah. I wasn't dreading it because I, I wanted to watch it for this specifically, but I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. I thought it was going to be too silly and like too over the top. Really? Yeah. And it, I mean, it was Th- those That things. is a factor. Yeah. But it was really, really good. <laughs> So you did, you not quite as much as me, but you no. Did. I really yeah. really liked it. I really liked it a lot. It's very silly, but I I really enjoyed it. It was fun all the way around. It's also one of the ones where I mean I was probably about fifteen minutes in, and I I like made the decision that I loved it, and so it would have had to have really kind of gone off the rails. The for moment me. that they started se- singing "Steal My Sunshine" by Len. <laughs> You almost fell off the couch again for the second time in a weekend. I love that song. Yeah, this it's great. This soundtrack is bangerang. It is. I, the, I was like writing things down. There's and a lot of I Vampire even, Weekend. A lot of Vampire yeah. Weekend, but M79 is my favorite. Oh, okay. And that's the one, the first one they play. Uh, the Basement Jacks, Do Your Thing, uh, Papa Americano. They have this amazing cover of Rather Be by Mark Scavilla that plays towards the end. Uh, it was it was so good. No, they 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 play "Steal My Sunshine." It's kind of the birds singing through the like it like the music will start and then at a certain point the birds take yeah. over and they like rewrite the lyrics to some of the songs yeah. and do the little dances. About that. And literally every time they are just smacked out of the sky <laughs> <laughs> onto the ground. It is a little zany. It yeah. is so so the consensus I, I about halfway through I thought, okay, I want to know what the critics think. Because I could kind of see it going either way, even though I was loving it. And it has a a a very it, it has a 63, which is kind of like skin of its teeth. Yeah, that's fine. Um although a 56 audience score, which doesn't surprise me because okay. The consensus is Peter Rabbit updates Beatrix Potter's classic characters with colorfully agreeable results that should entertain younger viewers while admittedly risking the warmth of purists. I could see being like a purist and kind of being like, what the fuck is this shit? Because it, so, it's very rascally in a way that yeah. this is rascally, but in a very... Well, this is rascally in a very Victorian way. <laughs> she she was born in 1866 <laughs> and she died in 1943. So it's a, it is a very, yeah, it's rascally in a different way. And that is, I, I will say that that's sort of, you know, I'm sitting there watching it like, this is a lot. You know, they are like electrocuting this adult man multiple times in a row. But... I think it did. It's so funny, though. Yeah, as I would consider myself a purist in this sense, but it did not offend me because I understood what they were going for. I'm curious how these movies come come about because it's like you could have done because we we have not seen the Paddington movies and they are apparently excellent. And that seems like they're on the list. Yeah, Yeah. but that seems like the prime example of like how to nail something with the initial pure vision. Sure. And this definitely feels a little bit. I think Paddington gets arrested for like stealing marmalade. So, (laughs) well, this feels hip, and I literally wrote, I was like, it's almost too hip, almost. But it really skirts the line, and it also has this thing, a thrum through the entire movie, where it almost knows it's a movie, 
And that's aided by Margot Robbie's narration, yeah. which is like inter it, 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 it's sporadic, but it is throughout the whole mm-hmm. movie. And there's a handful of jokes where they walk right up to breaking the fourth wall, but they don't quite do it. Yeah. I loved the visual effects. I love the animation of the rabbits. They were so realistic looking yeah. and they were so sweet. So cute. And very proud. Well, I first of all, I love bunnies anyway. <laughs> bunnies are the cutest. To the point back to the Pierce thing where it's like there's a version of this movie without the voice cast. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I wonder because if I'm being would've... honest, the James Corden of it all kind of distracted. I was going to ask. I mean, historically, in a general sense, I'm fine with James He's Corden. Fine. I don't really yeah. have strong feelings, but I keep people on the Internet keep telling me that I should have strong feelings and those feelings should be negative. I'm fine with him and it's whatever. I just, I don't know. He was still nominated for a Golden Globe this year for The Prom and that feels insane. It was, yeah. So I am generally also okay with him, but now I do have sort of a hair trigger when I hear his voice and I'm like, ugh. I don't know what I'm doing. Did you like him in this? Yeah, it was fine. But Did again, it capture it was like, the the vibe of Peter Rabbit. Well, yes and no. I assume Peter Rabbit would have more of like a Nick Jr. vibe, like Nickelodeon Jr. Mm-hmm. No, I mean he. I don't. I don't know. Like I said, these are the only ones that remain of my childhood, so I have not read Peter Rabbit in a minute. I don't know. He this Peter Rabbit is is very in your face in a way that like these are not like that. So that's the thing where it was like I was He's just, a little too close to yelling cowabunga yeah. as he like surfs through in slow motion on a carrot. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little distracted by James Corden. Okay. The girls The girls I felt like were faded a little bit more. Mm-hmm. So that was mostly fine. Well, cuz it's it's Margot, it's Margot Robbie, yeah. Daisy Ridley, and Elizabeth Debicki. Yeah. And so they were good. Sia was great. <laughs> Mrs. Tiddlywinkle. <laughs> The hedgehog. <laughs> and then the pig was terrifying. <laughs> it was a really terrifying. It was sort of like the um the Geico commercial. This little piggy said we all the way. Well, down. he was a little too real. Yeah. And he was he had too much oomph, he had too much yeah. gusto that it was it was scary because he when he was they had like a bowl of food or something and he went to eat at it. But he like specifically had his hands to his <laughs> like, side down, yeah. and was just like, <laughs> and it was like, it was too much. And then there's the scene where Thomas McGregor comes yeah. in and they've like destroyed the house and they're all trying to hide from him. And the pig is just like under the sheet and he just kind of oh, like, yeah. it was alarming. you just see the sheet raise and Thomas is like. <laughs> Is this a ghost? And then it's an anthropomorphic pig. Uh, and then all of the animals <laughs> scream and run out. Yeah. And so it, it, it's stuff like that. There is an element of the movie where it was like it either needed to go more zany or yeah. more pure. It's sure. straddling a weird line. Where... I think it's I think it's tap dancing on the razor's edge of insanity as well as it can do. Because they played it fast and loose with B too. Yeah. She was a little bit daffy in yeah. a way that th- her character isn't typically like that trope isn't typically like so she sort of is a stand-in for beatrix mm-hmm. potter so she like who was a little like she kind of uh, i'm referencing a biopic with renee zellweger and she basically would like speak to the, her drawings mm. like they would speak you've like to her. pushed that biopic on me a few times where you've been like you would like it and i was like what i really and i think you would well now i'm in, in intrigued yeah. it, it, she was such a lovely person it's just like she basically, nobody wanted to publish these books and she insisted they be public. Well, because she, she was a woman and because they were for kids and because she insisted that the illustrations be printed in color. <laughs> Wizard of Oz. Yeah. They so, only had like four colors, but still. He yeah. Was like, so this is, this is how they how were printed came. in the the, 18, the late 1800s. Alfred Baum was like, no deal. He yeah. was like, it needs to be. So she basically finally found this publishing house and the who plays the one that'll publish it in the movie is Ewan McGregor. And um, they end up publishing it. And then she used all of her money to buy, like, a piece of land in the Lake District to preserve it. And when she died, she she and then she continued buying up land. And when she died, she left all of it to the National Trust. So it's just preserved. Let's go. Forever. Yeah. I want to go. What's the Lake District? It's a place in England. <laughs> it sounds like there's lakes there. Yeah. <laughs> sounds pretty. Yeah. It's super pretty. I'm into it. I don't know. I, we should I'm watch at, the movie. I think I'm you'd at, like yeah, it. Yeah, I'm at that. I'm at this place right now. If anybody wants us to review Miss Potter, let us know. 
I feel like this isn't one of our like standout episodes. No, so I'm kind not, of like but... I'm kind of phoning this in right now, but <laughs> I-, I thought it was funny. The electrocution. Well, because it because was at it, least good as it slaps. Uh, it was at least good yeah. at its slapsticky stuff. And it also kept going. That scene kept going. Well, okay. So it, it really starts with the. Uh, the b- rabbit traps. The, the bear trap. Well, sure. Rabbit trap. The bear traps would have taken his hands clean off. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's like a saw movie. It is kind mixed of like a saw with- movie. <laughs> Because he gets one hand and then a second hand and then he stands up and he literally sideshow bobs with the rakes. Yeah. And there's a bit where he's going, he's like going back and forth and it's just like, dunk, 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 dunk. Well, there's like seven rakes on the ground. It's somehow funny. Like you see it coming a mile away, but it's still, it slays. And then he sits down and he sits on four rabbit traps. And then that's when he, he gets them off and he goes running downstairs and goes to the doors and he electrocutes himself. And it's it's the the, the, it's the ferocity velocity, yeah. with which he <laughs> flies, and I'm not talking about like like he like slams through the air into the wall and down, and he like damages the wainscoting mm-hmm. on the wall. It's like there's a hole in the wall, and he gets up and does it again and even harder. Yeah, <laughs> and he goes to it a third time, and, and he like, like wait, thinks, wait. <laughs> and so he goes to a different to the a, front the door. front door. Yeah. It happens again, and he, like, hits the table and then straight into the landing. The stairs, yeah. Oh, it was very funny. It's too good. And it continues because he goes up to the roof. Yeah. And it's like they're doing it on the roof, too. Oh, it, it was it was very funny. Uh, I also, I liked him not, I liked him being in something silly. Mm-hmm. I've only ever really seen him do mostly serious. I mean, like, there's a movie called About Time that's, like, a rom-com with him and Rachel McAdams, but it's relatively dramatic, and so I... I just watching Donald Gleason do straight up slapstick is hysterical. I, I don't understand hiring that man and then dyeing his hair brown, though. That felt weird. I think it was just to make him look evil. Like a, he looks yeah. like he's supposed to look like a bad guy. But his stuff with Rose was good. And they have a really cute chemistry. Uh-huh. <laughs> I like it. I think also, especially because she's I think she's she, just good. Well, she's excellent. But she's I think she's like time. 10 years older than him. Is she? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's all. Yeah, she's great. He's great. They're all great. But they I think they have a really cute chemistry and it was like it was fun watching him be like into her and like trying to be normal while all the, all the rabbits are trying to like push him out. Well, and also I mean like the tone cuz I'm very frequently like a uh, that's one of the first things I'll criticize is if I think a movie sort of is like jerking all over the place and this one does, but it's part of what made it kind of thrilling for me to watch. Yeah. Is how it goes from being like really silly and rascally to be the stakes come in yeah. and they are high. <laughs> yeah. But they're they're playful enough. Like that whole m- running bit of him and Peter fighting in her little art room while yeah. she was going to, I forgot what she was doing, but she was but doing she kept something. coming back and forth. And th- this is a part where the movie kind of acknowledges it's a movie because his like pants fall down. Yeah. And he immediately like stops fighting with Peter and goes into there just playing around and he like turns on the looks and he's like, oh, I just really thought she was going to come in at that point. At that exact moment. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! No, no, no. It's an old woman in a hat, you see. I... Oh, I just assumed she would have re-entered at that exact moment. There's a lot of really <laughs> very funny, not necessarily dark and not necessarily esoteric, but there's a lot of very odd bits. Mm. The deer in headlights. Yeah. That was so funny. It, the, the, it's a deer, and it when it sees the headlights, it just freezes, and it goes... Headlights. Yeah. <laughs> Headlights. So the deer is not a Beatrix Potter no, character. Sure. It was created for the for the movie, but I think it paid off because <laughs> it does it again later. Do you want to talk about the rooster? Oh my god! <laughs> the rooster is a, is an ongoing. It's not even running a joke. It's a plot. In the it movie. is basically a plot. It well, it starts out just being like, oh my god! If I'd known there was going to be another day, there's. Can you believe this? The sun rose again, and that's why it's like shrieking every morning. The sun came up again. I can't believe it. I thought when I closed my eyes last night that that was it. But we have another day of this. Woo-hoo! And then the next 
the next time we see it, it's like, if I'd known I had to take care of if all I'd those known that eggs, they kept coming, if they if the days were gonna keep coming, I wouldn't have fertilized those, all those eggs. eggs. Yeah. Why? The sun came up again. If I knew this was gonna keep happening, certainly wouldn't have fertilized all those eggs. Now I have to stick around till they hatch and be present and involved. And you're just like, oh. My. They just said fertilize. Well, yeah, not a good enough reason to use the word fertilize. <laughs> I think we see him four times total because the next time he's got them all, then he's got all the little chickies around him and he's sleeping and they're just going dead, 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 dead. <laughs> and, and then. Which begs the question what happened to the mother? Yeah, where are the Because the this hen? is a story and a movie yeah. that is not afraid to yeah. go to that place. There is a properly animated segment in the beginning because it's it's sort of like her paintings and stuff. Yeah. But it it's some Watership Down shit. I, I had a, a, a boss who made me watch that movie. And she really pitched to me as one of those like, oh, my God, you haven't seen Watership Down? You have to see it. You'll love it. I've never seen Watership Down. I've never even read Watership Down. I, I was, was like, not in my Michelle. English. I was like, what part of this do you think that I needed to see? <laughs> a lot of the rabbits die in Watership Yeah, Down, it's yeah. A, it, so take like <laughs> take like super serious Animal Farm esque sure. like rabbit warfare, right? right and right, then right. make it an animated movie from the seventies. Oh yeah, no. Do you want to go watch it? No. They're coming. A world of ruthless tyranny and brave rebellion. I'll settle with you myself, big week. Come on and try, you crack brain slave driver. But yeah, so it goes to a Watership Down place where we're watching, like, the death of Peter's father. Who got oh. baked in a pie. Not alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> now it's not sad and shocking. Okay, look. This movie's adorable. She knew what she did. The wife, when oh, she was she serving it to Mr. McGregor, yeah. she was like... <laughs> Shame. Shame. Okay, it's tragic and it's horrible, and I hate that these bunnies' dad died. But rabbit is delicious. <laughs> rabbit. That was a weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, it was a thing, huh. but it was from that Jenny McCarthy movie oh, where yeah. she sleeps with the magician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he yeah, just yeah, keeps yeah. going rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> no, rabbit is delicious though, and I'll I'll die on that hill. Uh, I'll I'll, I'll stick with duck. Look at her look at her baby duckies. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> oh, brother. No, it was just very sweet. I I I I actually watched a decent, I would say easily 30% of this movie like this. Yeah. There was a lot. There was a lot going on. Well, he tried to explode their burrow while they were with so much dynamite while they were in it. He just was throwing handfuls of dynamite down the burrow. And yeah, that's a lot. You have to like really hate rabbits to do that. <laughs> well, and it just like, because there were, I wrote, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I wrote there were some like kind of like topical, like some commentary flourishes mm, in the movie yeah. that were kind of, I mean, well, again, Ro I liked it, but. Rose Byrne B was like, this is the animal's home. Like leave the gate open. The. It, we are living in there. I home. can understand Mr. McGregor not wanting pests ruining his garden, mm -hmm. but Thomas McGregor was trying to sell that fucking house. Yeah. So, also, not for nothing, that garden was way too big for one person. It was so, oh. But it was very nice. Yeah, those tomatoes. It was I loved, oh, it was so, I, I fucking love this movie. I, I don't really have much to offer this episode. This is a mess, but. No, it's, I just, I agree with you. I liked it a lot. I thought it was. We were going to watch both of them. We were going to watch well, the first the, and second one, but the second one still hasn't come out yeah. a full year later, so. It was supposed to come out last year, and then the pandemic happened, and so it is still pushed, and it is meant to be coming out this year now, but I'm not sure when. It is not currently available. But so yeah. we look out for our episode because we're definitely going to see it now. <laughs> it was so cute when they were touring London. It was yes. so cute when they were in just the regular town and yeah. they thought like the grandfather clock was Big Ben and yeah. all that. Um, With the little mouse was touring them. Because I didn't realize that that he could talk that like humans could understand him. I think they're not supposed to. Well, Thomas could. Yeah. Because we were waiting for him to talk to 
B to yeah. Rose Byrne, and he doesn't. But Thomas blames the rabbits for detonating the explosives, which he did. That, he that, did. Yeah, that crushed her house, her adorable little cottage. Very cute little cottage, like <sighs> co- cottage core porn. Give my left yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah, what ends up happening is when <laughs> Peter, because he's so cute. Did I already say the head thing? I'm sorry. You're all right, though, right? No, but they like apologize to each other. They nuzzle. We heads. just both are like. <laughs> they That's, just put their. There's heads. the image yeah. for. <laughs> <laughs> for Peter Rabbit. Um, <laughs> we can do some episodes boozy. Like, well, you're Joan Sober. <laughs> <You're Stone's laughs> <over. laughs> I actually gave up drinking for a minute. <laughs> I kind of did. You kind of did. Um, but I really did. <laughs> but he takes out. He goes to show Rose Byrne that he's not that. They're and not he ta- making, yeah, he takes, and a, little he takes out a little detonator and he just goes. <laughs> and the Uber driver is just standing there, and she was like, "This is all very weird." Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the the yuppie couple. I wish there was like one or two more things. Yeah. It was very satisfying watching them fly the, the electric doorknob. Man, okay, that guy would have been. Deceased, though it threw him into a concrete you pillar. Gotta let this go. You're really <laughs> concerned with like the spinal cord and like the way you know, like head b- blows to the head in, in superhero movies. I'm just saying, <laughs> just saying. I fucking love this movie. Yeah. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna watch it again. I'm sure I'll think of like 15 more things Listen, I had wished I said. Uh, you know, I'll bet Andrew will love this movie. I wasn't gonna say it, but yeah, yeah. I'll bet he will. No, I mean, I, I feel the same. I, this was such a good, fun thing to watch on a Saturday afternoon, especially after, like we said in our Tuesday episode, we were so disappointed that Godzilla hadn't come out yet. That would like this was just like very nice and fun and silly and, uh, you know, springy and eastery. So I, I dug it a lot and definitely a lot more than I thought I was going to. So if you're in for just like a weird zany romp with like very realistically generated rendered. yeah rendered bunnies go for it with little jackets oh god they're little jackets i love their stupid jackets where do they get the jackets we don't know but they've been there all along you're a crazy person oh they're so dumb i love them well the, the bird watching there's a lot of it it's very yeah. funny yeah in a, an off kilter or in like a it, it's between yeah it's between like dry and zany so i'll tell you one of my favorite parts and it was actually like my probably my favorite delivery from James Corden in the whole thing is after they like after they explode the burrow and it falls into Rose Byrne's house and everything and he is making the speech to the other bunnies where he's just like I think I messed up and he's he's like I don't know what you think this is about though and he goes in this high pitched thing and he's like I would like I have feelings for her and like blah 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 and then he like, goes in this really deep register and, and at the end he just goes I love her like a mother I love her like a mother <laughs> I just was like, oh, God. But it was such a good little voice performance and everything. I really thought it was very funny. Will Gluck is kind of cute. Yeah. I I picked up on He directed Easy A and what else? He oh, re- fired up that like. Yeah. Diana really liked that. And he wrote some of one of our favorite shows, Gross Point, which is, I think, right behind you somewhere. Yeah. He's he's good. I think he's done a lot of good stuff. Happy Easter, you old clod. All right. Well, Peter Rabbit is available for rent or purchase on Amazon. Um, we definitely, as you can tell, highly recommend it. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at So I'm Watching or Instagram at So I'm Watching This Show. We also have a website which links out to everything, including uh, the YouTube and the Patreon and the book we wrote called Fairy Tale. Um, and then other than that, you can rate, review, and subscribe on iTunes or YouTube or wherever you listen. And that's it for us. You're my cousin. Bye. You're my cousin. I can feel it coming. <laughs>